absolute procession. That was an absolute procession. Are there are there beers in Gaul on a Friday night? Is it a circle on a Friday? Is that what was going on here? Because Australia have won the game by 10 wickets uh, and they've missed half a day for rain yesterday. Bit of bad light last night. Uh, bit of beers tonight, I would have thought. Different to bitter beers, uh, which is a separate thing like an ale. It's like you go for a bitter. Uh, anyway, welcome back to The Great Cricketer, brought to you by Akko, India's tech-first insurance company. It's just me this evening because Sam Perry is spending time with his family. He's gone tropo in Northern Territory. Must be nice. It must be nice. So you're, with, you're just with the big dog today. And let me tell you, that I, was that fun? Are we having fun? I mean, it's always nice when you, when you just dominate a team on their own patch. But I just can't help but think that there are a couple of beers floating around tonight, Friday night in Gaul. They've now got an extra – they've basically got three days off. Is it golf? What are we looking at? I think it's beers. Beautiful place for beers. If you're in Gaul, let us know in the comments. Or if you've ever been to Gaul. Are there beers on a Friday? That's all I'm deducing. So Australia started the day this morning batting, I suppose, and uh, Sri Lanka wrapped them up pretty quickly. But the news of this morning, of course, was that Angelo Matthews uh, has COVID. Um, and so he's now got to isolate for five days, which I don't think it will affect the next test match because there's three more days. This yeah, I think that I think he's going to be okay. Um, and he's been replaced by Fernando. Now, of course, if Sam Perry was here, and we all wish that he was, uh, he'd be giving some ABBA references, I reckon. Uh, a bit of Fernando stuff, a bit of ABBA. He's an ABBA guy, Pez. My dad was actually an ABBA guy. He used to host ABBA parties before I was born. What's going on there, Dad? What are we looking at there? Bit of ABBA stuff. Bit of keys in the bowl, was it? What are we looking at? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, Angelo Matthews out. A, co- a COVID, COVID two years in, three years into this whole fiasco, uh, who was also unavailable today. Um. It's, it seems weird to be getting COVID now, especially if you've had COVID for the first time. I, I was talking to someone the other day and they had COVID for the first time and I was surprised that they have, like, yeah, how have you not had it yet? But that's the same thing, isn't it? Where, like, if, you, like, if you're talking about a movie and then, and then someone says, oh, what, you haven't seen that movie? Uh, like, oh, you haven't seen Titanic? I mean, that's a, that's a bad example because that is, that is a banger, to be fair. Titanic is a banger, uh, much like the noise it made when it hit the, uh, the big old rock there. When it hit the big old rock is the thing that I just said. Um, so Schleicher, uh wrapped, a, wrapped Australia up this morning a couple of wickets early. And so Australia finished uh, with a 109 run lead. All out for 321. Then Schleicher come out and they thought, well, let's go. Let's let, let's have a crack. Let's have a crack. And uh, Stark went for 23 off two overs. And, uh, and I think Cummins thought, well, fuck that. Spin it both ends, I would have thought. Cummins had a great day out. Hasn't bowled. Uh, gave it a whack last night. Went off a bad light. Taking 10 wickets with spin here. Job done. Uh, so Sri Lanka had a nice start. 30 off the first couple of overs. Stark 23 of his two overs, of course. And then and then Lyon comes on with Swepson and he gets Karuna Ratner. And, and Brad Haddon on comms. And, you know, as a Gloveman myself, that's a fucking good catch. It's just a really good catch. And it's one of those ones where you're watching the game and you think, well, the guy's hit it, so just catch it, mate. You should just catch that. It's fucking hard when the guy's sweeping and it's an under edge and goes in the inside half of the bat. That's a fucking, it's a really good catch. And Brad Haddon was right. And I'll be the arbiter of Brad Haddon's performance on comms today. Okay. Swepson gets on the Sanker LBW. Uh, and then, and then it just felt like every single ball was a fucking event. It felt like it was vivid. It felt like a light show. It was something for the eyes. Less so for the ears when Australia's fielding. When Sri Lanka's in the field, there's something for the years there, let me tell you. Whether that's good or bad. Now, if I just not say anything and move my hands around, I think you know what I'm saying. Um, so then Lyons bowing to Mendes and Warner drops him. Warner then kicks the ground. Obviously, a great chance to show frustration. I usually catch those. I usually snare, snare those in my sleep. Different to a drum snare, of course. Uh, and then Mendes, the next over sweeps the ball, gets the top edge, and it's caught at three-quarter fine leg uh, by Swepson. It sort of does this, like, falling over, hands up thing with two hats on his head. Um, and and that gives rise to just, like, uh, this is going to be over quickly. When, when you're getting caught sweeping at three-quarter fine leg, not a position in real life, um, it just felt like something was going to happen, and it went pretty quick from there. Um... And then Swepson, I think maybe two overs later, gets Fernando out. 
caught it first slip. Dama Seaman goes upstairs. Is it a bump ball? I just want to say that bump balls don't exist. Like a bump ball doesn't exist because of the properties of the cricket ball and the bat with the turf. Those are the three things you need to factor into what I'm about to say. No ball can be projected from like the grounds back to the bowl. You often see like the bump ball back to the bowl. Like it's impossible for a ball to be hit into the ground simultaneously with the earth and to be squeezed back at such a, a velocity that it ends up so far away as to be back with a bowler. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. It either hits the ground directly or it, or the bat hits the ground at the same time and it balloons back to you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? A bump ball doesn't exist. Anyway, decision was soft, Sydney was out, so Dharma Seaman got that right. Am I going to get to him in a smoke? In a reckon, I reckon. In a moment, I reckon. Um, and then and then Travis Head comes on. And we spoke about this last night, didn't we? We spoke about this last night where um, it just has this vibe where like a guy who doesn't bowl but kind of part-time bowls gets like nine for none. And... And Head comes on and he just bowls a fucking seed to Chandamal, who put on, put on a bit of Palmer shit there with De Silva. They put on 32. It ne- They were never getting away, let's be honest. But it just felt like, how close are we to beers? That's what the whole thing felt like. How close are we to beers? And turns out, pretty fucking close. Because um, Head comes on and he just, he gets one. It did it drift. I mean, if you're being critical... Uh, Chandamal's hands are away from his body. He's pushing out and it's like, you know, and as you guys know, I did play 700 test matches for Sri Lanka. Um, and so what I would have done is actually just got the broom out. Um, but it just gets, he just gets one through the gate. It's a fucking Jaffa. Let's call it as it is. And, and then Chandamal looks at the deck. We all look at the deck. Um, and then, and then as, as Chandamal's walking off, the PA is playing, uh, the Divino song, When I Think About You, I Touch Myself. And fucking hell, what a great... Who's who's DJing there? Is it is it Gweta? Is it Gweta? Is that what's going on there? Gaul? I mean, that's a, I mean, it's a great pairing of that delivery with Touching Myself because I think that ball in itself has actually saved me from opening up a private tab later on tonight. Um, but the fifth ball is, for me, the highlight of maybe the year. That's a big call. Um, let's go big though. It's the highlight of my year. That's a ridiculous thing to say because Travis head bowls a ball to De Silva. It pitches sort of, um, let's call it out. Let's let's call it, let's call it 30 centimeters outside off stump as is my want. And De Silva decides, you know what? This bat, not for me. I'm saving this for the second test match because I'm going to kick this ball on middle stump. And it's just, it's, it looks so bad that it's just fucking out. And Dharma Seema, to be fair, now I've never seen him make a mistake before in any big game. But, I mean, Kumar, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. If that's not out, he's, he's had, he hasn't had a great game, if I'm honest. If, I, if I'm honest. Um, but that was fucking bad. All of that was bad. It was one of those ones where it, he, they, he left it and it's hit him on middle. And everyone starts to laugh. And Kumar goes, nah, nah, not not for me. Not not for me, that one. I think it's missing off. I think it's missing leg. And I think it's hitting fucking the it's missing it's missing the bottom of middle and it's missing the top of middle. Nah, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. It was fucking out. And as it so so turned out to be. Uh then uh the next over line gets Mendes caught again at that three quarter fine leggy bit caught by Kawaja again, double capped. And then life got in the way. Because then I had to go to the mechanic to pick up my car. And then by the time I come back, uh, Travis has taken four for ten, and Warner's got the uh, got the runs in four balls. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. And uh, there's another test match starting in about five minutes uh, over there in uh, Birmingham. Uh, so we, yeah, we're reviewing that later as well. Uh, so now I'm at a loss. I'm at the mechanic. Fucking notification. It's notification central. Travis Head's doing some stuff. Fucking hell. They're at the mechanic and they give you the paperwork. You've got to pretend to look at the paperwork. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, my rear wiper. That's yeah. How much is that going to cost? 400 bucks? <sighs> anyway, so that was, I mean, it hasn't even lasted a session. And given that they, they lost half a day yesterday, right? I think they played 50 overs yesterday. Is that what they played? And then, so this game is over in two and a half. I mean, this is, this is a one and a bit day test match. And I think it's good for the game because my team won. If this was the other way around, disgraceful scenes. No one wants to say this. Embarrassing. It's not good for it's not good for the game. It's not good for cricket. It's not good for cricket. 
fuck that. It's good for my social life. Weekend off. I mean, there is another game um, that we'll be covering later. So it's just actually wall-to-wall cricket nonstop. And so sometimes it spins and it's actually fun. Again, when your team, when your team wins. When Kawaja goes out to bat for Australia in the, in the fourth innings of the game, he hasn't faced the ball. Does that count? Does that count as an innings? I mean, that's that's the area that I'm getting into with this game now. Where like, does that count as one of his innings? Even though he hasn't faced the ball, he didn't do anything. He could have gone out there. He could have gone out there in a towel. And I think for, you know, for a lot of ways, that actually would have been good for cricket. I'm not sure it would have saved the game necessarily, although he has done that before. But if Kwaja walked out there in a towel, that's more of a second test match kind of vibe, isn't it? It's not really a first test match kind of thing. It's, in, it's a bit aggressive. But does that count as an innings? Some fucking nerd shit right there. Hashtag RCGC brought to you by Akko. Siraj wrote in. Hashtag RCGC. Should this be binned as abject failure considering Australia didn't win by an innings? Yes. Yes, it should be. I don't know what we wanted out of this. I mean, 10 wickets. 10 wickets when you're chasing five to win is pretty good. Yes. But we had to bat again. There would have been, like, Marnus was padded up, wasn't he? I don't, I don't like Marnus padded up. Was Steve, was Steve Smith padded up, do you reckon? I reckon those guys just fucking love getting on gear so much. Not getting on the gear, that's a... I mean, maybe after, I don't know what goal's like. I don't know. I've never been. Uh, but I don't want my three and four padded up chasing five. If it were me. I prefer a timed out. I would have preferred... I would have preferred for Australia to lose six for three. And then that wraps up the second test match just nicely. I think they're playing the same, the second test match at the same location. Is that correct? I don't know. It's not my job to know that. I'm still thinking about my rear wiper blades, if I'm honest. Miss Travis Head's famous four for. Do you remember Travis Head got four for 10? No, I don't remember that. Because I was still at work because it was Friday afternoon. Well, that's the wrap up of this test match. Uh, don't worry, Pez will be back in a couple of days' time. But, of course, I will be back later um, for the England-India, the fifth test match. I can't wrap my head around it being the fifth test match. I know India's been over there playing its Let's Shoot Twos uh, for a warm-up, but England just played a test series against New Zealand, I guess. Anyway, thanks for joining us. See you guys later. <laughs>